Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlus here, and we have a new Pokemon event to talk about today. Or at least we did, until it got cancelled, but I still want to go over the details and implications of the event, as well as other upcoming Pokemon giveaway distributions, and then just general goings-on in the world of Pokemon, since the news has been pretty light, but I still want to keep some discussion going, so hopefully there's enough in this video to where you enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to leave a like, share with your friends, and comment your thoughts down below, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people have a lot of things to say about a Gigantamax Copperaja event that uses Pokemon Pass. The biggest thing being why. So, it was announced a few days ago the Pokemon Pass app will allow you to obtain a mysterious gift code for the Dynamax Crystal of Copperaja. Yeah, remember those things? Well, apparently there's still a few events where some of the Dynamax crystals are given away. And this is actually a European event, so EU actually got an event before anyone else. Unfortunately for you guys, it was a pretty worthless event that really doesn't matter anymore. Because we've had event raids that give away Gigantamax Copperaja as early as June. And then just also all the Gigantamax Pokemon eventually being made available. Max Soup is the thing. And you can just stumble into one with like the 1% den raids anyways, so it's not impossible to get. So what happened was back around, you know, August 12th when these ads were being put up in GameStop, people started announcing like, oh cool, this is going to be an event that's coming up, and it uses Pokemon Pass. Once again, remember that? Apparently Pokemon Pass is still being used for Pokemon Sword and Shield, but people have problems with this. Like, why am I going to go, like, even if, even if COVID wasn't a thing, there's almost no reason to go to GameStop just for a crystal for the Gigantamax Copperaja raid. And it's all done through Pokemon Pass. I think, like, the problem is now there's too much event Pokemon bloat. Like, when Pokemon Pass first came out with Pokemon Let's Go, I was like, okay, this sounds really cool. If it's not super annoying to, like, I thought Pokemon Pass could be, you have the app, it gives you announcements, and then you can get, you know, rewards and codes that way. But then you have to, like, go to Target, and then half the time the Pokemon Pass app doesn't even work. You still have to go to GameStop to get these event Pokemon, and there weren't even that many events, and now they're still trying to, like, shoehorn it in, and it's still not really working too much. And I think what they needed to do was they needed to fold the entirety of the Pokemon Pass app into Pokemon Home. Like, if I could use Pokemon Home as Pokemon Pass... That would be a lot better, but also at the same time, there's still giveaway distributions inside of your Pokemon Sword and Shield game, much like we just had with the Shiny Amoongus event, but now there's also going to be a Gastrodon event, and it's going to be kind of the same. It is going to be competitive, ready, Gastrodon, Nintendo Switch is region unlocked, which means the code is just going to work for everyone when it's released, and then everyone just has a perfect IV, already EV trained, comes with an item, Gastrodon, which is pretty solid. So this is going to be on August 22nd. We don't know how long the event code is going to last. It might be a day like we saw with the Amoongus event, so be snappy about it. It's also like August 22nd in Japan time, so time is going to get a little weird. I'm going to do a video about it. I'm going to break down the Pokemon similarly to how I did with the Amoongus, because Gastrodon, very fun Pokemon to use, very usable, and it's another just freebie that might be like the sixth for your team that gets you out there going in competitive battles. So, the final of the 2020 Japan Championship will be broadcast. Gastrodon Mystery Gift Code, used by the 2019 World Champion, will be published during the stream. And then, of course, you're going to find it on social media, on YouTube, just everywhere when that code becomes available. Grab it, boom, don't hesitate, Gastrodon is yours. And it just kind of makes it weird, because, like, yeah, we're, we just get either global Wi-Fi distributions, kind of like how you did with the Meowth when the game first came out for the original Gigantamax Meowth. There's also codes that are exclusive, like the Zarude code. There's codes that, codes that are global, like these upcoming events. Also, like, the Ball Guy codes that gave you, like, all of the um, curve balls and stuff before we had the update with the Isle of Armor, and then there's Pokemon Pass codes. Pokemon Home gives away Pokemon, so if you participate in the Zero Aura event, you got the shiny Zero Aura as the mystery gift in Pokemon Home. It's a mess right now for Pokemon distributions, and this doesn't really make it any better. However, the update is TPCI has canceled the Copperaja Gigantamax promotion in GameStop stores due to COVID-19. They are working on online options for event Pokemon. That's what everyone wants to hear. Everyone liked that. Because we're tired of going to GameStop for either a really desirable Pokemon that kind of makes it mandatory, or we're just tired that these events are being wasted and we don't have as much access to them. Like a Korean event. 
was that that doesn't impact anyone outside of Korea. Well, to the to, you know, like it doesn't have any cultural relevance or it wasn't like aimed for those people. They just get a free code and they get a free really good Pokemon. This is for a crystal, so you still have to participate in the event or you still have to like participate in the raid, which would have been cool. Like if they were giving away legendary Pokemon, you still have to like raid battle to then capture and stuff. That could have been really awesome, but it, it just seems like all of these events don't really aren't really as cool as people might have expected, and then it just got cancelled anyways. So that'd be nice if we could just go online. Like, well, I also don't understand why it's taking so long. I'd imagine it would take five seconds, not not really, but you know, it wouldn't take that much time over at Game Freak to just be like, oh yeah, this, there's uh, some logistical issues with having this event, so we should just kind of turn on the online. Just Wi-Fi event right now, there's no ongoing Wi-Fi event, so just do it, and then everyone gets the crystal. I don't see what the problem is with that, especially when it's a Pokemon that doesn't really do anything like the Kaparaja. And even when it came to like the Year of Mythical Pokemon, sometimes, and Year of Legendary Pokemon, some of those events were just available. And then some of the other ones you had to like go into stores for. Also, the really weird thing is that like the Pokemon company just straight up deleted the website for it, so we don't have all the details just readily available and stuff. And I tried to click on the link, and I got this. Did, did did the Pokemon company let Pokemon Legendary as a domain expire and now bad actors picking it up? So either way, the Pokemon company does things like this and sometimes it feels like it's kind of busted if they're giving away too many too good event Pokemon for free and undermining other people's works. But I think the way that they did it with the uh, Legendary Pokemon Mythic Pokemon was really good because they're just kind of like closing up a lot of loose ends as we made generational transitions. But now when we have this, it's like... Uh... This doesn't do anything and now it, there's like a hold up for making the distribution available even but they're also working for event pokemon and what i like is maybe if, they're, if we're talking about options for event pokemon that means future events that were already planned should be online like just give everyone's a rude that shouldn't be too difficult and the weird thing is, we haven't really had any announcements outside of Japan about Zarud for other kinds of distributions or even the movie or where this is going. I know the movie got delayed until December, which is a crazy delay. That's also why the Zarud event got pushed back and stuff. But I mean, there's still like no acknowledgement or announcement from the Pokemon company. So now this Pokemon's gonna take like a year from announcement to come out, and then by then we're already transfer like uh, transitioning into maybe the next series of Pokemon games or something like that. So it's kind of weird, and there's already like you know 99.9% .9 of Zarudes being hacked, and that number just grows by the day because only so many people are getting movie tickets and redeeming the codes, whereas thousands of hacked Zarud are being given away every hour. Like I wouldn't be surprised if like in the span of a day there's more hack Zaruds being given away than have been redeemed legitimately in total. So it's just bad. It's just not good. It's not it's not getting better. But yeah, it's like now we just have to worry and wonder about what the shenanigans are going to be for the Zarud event since we already have some of these events not really going through. Doing it through Pokemon Home would be pretty cool. Like just make a max raid battle event and then have Pokemon Home be a thing. Also, we have the year, or not the year, but we have Steel type Pokemon month. We have... Uh, Meltan, or not Meltan, but we have Melmetal as the header, but still nothing about like a Melmetal event for Gigantamax Melmetal, which is also long overdue, which could be done like Zero Aura, which could also just be you catch it and you're good to go because Meltan is super available inside of uh, Pokemon Go for Let's Go transfer and then other weirdness happening. So just make it available for everyone as well. On that, we got TCG promotions, we got remembering Pokemon Worlds because it would be happening effectively around this time and then just kind of tweeting about Pokemon, Steel-type Pokemon Month. So, I feel like the uh, Melmetal event is the idea of what's going to be building up here pretty soon, but I guess that actually makes a bit more sense for the Kaparaja event. It doesn't seem like they're making about the uh, month of, or the Steel-type Pokemon Month, but makes sense. And it's not like we're getting this instead of Melmetal, I'm pretty sure. So we just have to kind of wait to see where the rest of the events go. But yeah, the events have been really weird and lackluster for Pokemon Sword and Shield. We had some pretty cool ones early on, like Delibird, 5 IV Ditto, Shiny Magikarp. The Mewtwo raid was cool. Even though you couldn't catch Mewtwo, you got some ridiculous rewards. And then we did have like the temporary Pikachu one that happened for Shiny Pikachu. Like there's been some alright ones. The Zero Aura event, I feel wasn't worth it to a degree. Like yeah, if you participated and then you got your Zero Aura event, that's cool. But for like doing it like the old... um 
global missions from Pokemon Sun and Moon. And then just making it to where even if you defeated this ridiculously difficult Zera Aura battle, you didn't really get anything out of it. it there wasn't like any, any fun or engagement behind it. So just kind of like, it was effectively free. It was effectively like a non-event that just gave you the shiny Zera Aura to give you a modern Gen 8 native Pokemon that also didn't exist because shiny mythical Pokemon are very poorly maintained as well inside of Pokemon. But that seems to be it for right now, guys. Um, it doesn't look like things are going to be getting any better for event distributions. Uh, the Melmetal event is due at some point, then we need to wait for news, which also doesn't really have anything that looks like it's building up into for the Crown Tundra. That could just kind of be announced or dropped randomly. It's even been a while since we had Pokemon Presents, and everyone get getting upset over that. So, we're just kind of waiting in limbo for things to kind of break open, then Crown Tundra happens, then... It's 2021 and we get a new Pokemon game announcement and other things are going to be going down. We still don't have Pokemon Unite release date. Nothing else on Pokemon Snap. So, yay. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.